Hello to you all from me, Maxi. And from me, Maro. Here we are at Copenhagen Airport again. We're about to fly to Kusamui. We're flying to Frankfurt today. And then from Frankfurt, we're flying to Bangkok. Yeah. And from Bangkok to Kusamui. Airline is Lufthansa on both flights. Lufthansa to Frankfurt and Lufthansa to Bangkok. From Bangkok, we're flying one of our favorite little airlines, Bangkok Airways. Yes. But right now, we're heading down to Terminal 2 which is down on the other side, to check in for our Lufthansa flight. See you down there. Copenhagen Airport has been quite upgraded here in the arrivals area, departure area. A lot of restaurants and bars. And here we have Maro spinning along with her new Samsonite luggage. And our Mark Portavail covers protecting them. Highly recommended. Nice meals coming. I'm so hungry. I think it's lounge today, isn't it? Yeah, we have plenty of time. We're looking for a paid access lounge today. If there's not too many people there, we'll go in. We have about two hours before our flight. Depends if we can check in or not. And we also have to draw some money like we normally do. And then it's out to the flight. Love that new aquarium there outside the rock restaurant. Don't miss that when you're here. If you've forgotten some pharmaceuticals, there is an airport pharmacy now, it hasn't always been here. Recently opened, very good service. Just ahead here we have Preta Manger. Pret Manger, I don't know how to pronounce it. Somebody, you reckon? Well, if Mano is right, write it down in the comments. It's a big Norwegian chicken area. And we're heading straight ahead down there to Terminal 2. And here we're coming up on Terminal 2. Oh, there's a Lufthansa desk. Maro, there's a Lufthansa desk there. Yeah. We're going to go to the automatic check in machines just over here to the right. Let's see if we can check in our luggage all the way to Kusamui. It's quite busy there, but at this time. So we'll do a self-service check-in and do a baggage drop a little bit further down. Maro's doing the honors here. Just checked in now, got our baggage slips. Maro's holding in her hand there. And then we just put them onto our own luggage. Now we're just getting all our boarding passes. Apparently we're gonna have eight boarding passes. Is it eight? Six. Six. Yeah. These were the two documents. Eight flights. We have one, two, three flights to Kusamui. Quite a slow process. Not the fastest machines. <laughs> well, I was just having the honor here of putting the luggage tags on the luggage. Can you figure it out? Ah, yeah, I must just remember. The Whatever you do, don't forget to keep a copy of your luggage tag. That's a little tag model just stuck on top of the bag before. Professional. One done. <laughs> You're getting good at this. Yeah. Voila. Good to go. Okay, now we've got to go down in that direction. Over there, over there, over there, and drop our luggage off. Now we're following Maro over to the Lufthansa check-in desks, the baggage drops. Looks like there's quite a queue there. Looks like a shared area for Swiss, Austrian, Brussels and Lufthansa. Look at the queue over there. Just ahead you can see there's a service desk. You can't figure out the machine. And there's a fast bag drop. Also a few fast bag drop counters. We'll probably be using those to scan them ourselves. Is that right, Maro? Are we using the fast bag drop? Yeah. Then you just scan that one and it goes further. You heard that? Just scan that one and it goes further. It's a self-service baggage drop. I was just taking the scanner over here. I can take the English one. Oh, I didn't even okay. see that. First I time see it. I see it. It's a scan. Yeah, I'm just yeah, the baggage. I'm just, just waiting for confirmation and there goes the baggage. The first one. Easy, easy. Mm -hmm. And then comes the next one, which Maro, of course, will be doing, because I'm filming. We do have some viewers that always ask, why is it Maro, or why is Maro carrying the stuff? Well, it's because I'm the filming guy. And you know what? I do help Maro with the luggage also, so don't worry so much about it. And it's validating the bag, as it says there. 
a very clever little system and of course the Back. baggage. And, and we all set to go upstairs, pass through security. Yes. And the trip yes, is on its way. We forgot to mention that our seat on the plane is an emergency exit, which is okay to try for a change. We haven't tried that, we don't do it normally because there's never any window seat. But today we do it for the fun of it. First we send Maro upstairs as usual. Just to check how long the wait is. You can check these signs, how long security is, and there it says three to five minutes wait. We go all the way up there, we gotta walk around the corner and up the railings up there. And Maro's up. I better follow her up. And now from this point we head for security, so I'll turn the camera off in a moment and we'll see you on the other side in duty free. We just passed through security, first things first, Maro's off to get a trolley for our bags. What the trolley? My favorite one. Happy? Happy, happy. And there we have duty free, as busy as ever and those smells telling you you're going traveling. First things first, our traditional walk through the duty free. Maro will try and find some samples, she always enjoys a quick sample on the way some kind of booze. Don't you usually say something when you come to this area? What do I normally say? The smell? Yeah. I already mentioned it. Oh, the smell of the tax-free? The tax-free, duty-free smell. And there's the first tastings over there. As she skids in around the corner to get there and taste. We decided that we didn't need that sampling because we're heading for the lounge anyway. Some more samples there. Gin. Yes. There's Aperol Sprit. Just ahead, a very popular drink, I think, throughout Europe at the moment. Last year also. And on we go. Maro, lead the way down to the runway window, the apron window, where we have a look at the first planes for today. Oh, that's very cool. Little scooter. And straight ahead we go. Very busy airport, it is the middle of July, it's actually the 16th of July today, the mid-summer holidays here in Denmark and also Europe. And see how many people are rushing to the left and to the right. We're heading straight ahead over there in that direction to the window to see what planes are standing out on the apron. Somebody was lost on the field of the cars. Uh, there's some cars over there. One of our viewers wanted us to film. We're not the big car fans ourselves, so that's probably why we don't spend too much time in the cars. We're more the aeroplane kind of fans. Uh -huh. Always construction going on here. Oh, that's new. Yeah, smart wings. That must be some kind of charter, charter airline. Let's move in a bit. I think the green one over there is Iran Airlines. I've asked that a few times. I'm not quite sure, but let's just have a look at the smart wings. Just to the right, the green one, which I think is Iran Air. And as Maro just mentioned, there's a lot of construction work going on out there. So if we go again, we're just going to follow Maro along. Yeah. Take a following of Maro through Copenhagen Airport, give you a look at what it actually looks like nowadays. Mara, if you pick up the pace a little bit today, because I want to film the whole walk. I just pulled a muscle on my leg. And she just pulled a muscle on her leg. Oh, the cars. Nice looking car. And down we go. This is a nice airport, Copenhagen Airport. I'm not just saying it because it's our own one. My personal favorite in the world is Changi Airport, up until now. But uh, Copenhagen does have a nice feel, nice atmosphere. Just over there in the middle is Lauke, who is it? One of the Danish bakery chains. Go Maro leading the way. Heading over to the gates A and B areas here in the airport. A lot of shops all the way. Duty free shops, fashion shops, perfume shops. It's the big duty free area where she came in on that side there. As you can see from the side there, tax free. And we're heading down to the bank now. Where we draw some Bat for Thailand, just a few bat for when we arrive. And after that we hopefully can go up into the lounge upstairs. Have a little bit to eat, some drinks. We know that uh, the meal, at least down to Frankfurt, the snack is 
possibly non-existent as they're having some catering issues Lufthansa at the moment. Maro just flew the other day. Water, water price nowadays. 10 krona, that's quite good, yeah, it's cheaper. And we're heading down to the bank and when we're done there, that'll be the lounge we're going to be going up to there. So we changed the beds and now I think we go to the lounge to Definitely relax. Definitely to the little. lounge. Time is now, what time is it here on the trusty polso, if we can even see it? 17 past 4. 17 past 4, we just check our gates over there on the board. We better check our gate, see what it's leaving from, and then we just gotta go and relax a little bit, have a little bit of alcohol <laughs> and some snacks. Maro and wine, you know that, huh? Mm -hmm. We'll see you upstairs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so off we go, off towards the lounge entrance over there. Oh, it's not there on the board yet. It's too early. 1840. 1840 is latest. Okay, let's carry on to the lounge. A lot of nice eateries, very classy in my opinion, very tasteful and something for all tastes and budgets at this airport. Let me just spin around the room so we get a better lighter angle, it was a little bit dark just before there. Just passing a Polo Ralph Lauren store and over here to the right is the lounge. So then we go to the right. Oh, further up or what? There we go, Maro as usual got the entrance wrong. This is the sign. The lounge is open. So we head up those stairs up to the lounge. And as I said, this is lounge, costs 155 krona, food and drinks unlimited. It's a walk-in lounge. It's a very good deal. It's a lot cheaper than just going to here quickly make a big saving by going up there. Yeah. So let's go and lead the way, Maro. So in we come into the lounge. Plenty of snacks here, as you can see. Roast beef, bread, sandwiches. That's looking very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Some seal? Yes, awesome. have a seal sandwich. Yeah, some nice salads and some nice drinks. Lovely. Nice. And coffees too. Oops, we changed lounges. It did look very nice, the other one, but this one is a lot nicer and a lot cozier, as you can see. There's a nice bar desk here. Where are the spirits and the Baileys? Hello, hello. Thank you very much. Nice cakes also. Drinks. As mentioned, this is very much nicer than the one next door. And it's worth paying the little bit extra. Come here, it's very quiet today. And look at the standard of it. Very nice indeed. Some soup over there in the corner. And we normally sit down where we have a nice view over the lounge. Sorry, over the airport. Where's Maro? Ah, there you are. Good. Nice comfy spot. It's a little bit better than next door. Next door wasn't so cozy. But that's the view we have. Over here, Maro, you go up and sort some drinks out for yourself. Yeah. While I just do a little bit of filming around here. <coughs> Towards the eating area. That's a nice lounge. We've got a good few hours here. There we go. Always worth paying a little bit extra. What do you say? Definitely. It's a little bit of nicer lounge this side. Yeah. Mano's just doing some Facebook updates. I just updated on Facebook and Instagram. If you haven't followed us on Facebook yet or Instagram, please follow us there. I'm still enjoying here. Bloody Mary time. A little plate full of snacks. A little bit more. Always a little bit more. I don't know what time we're going to be eating on the plane this evening. Third or fourth plate? Shh, don't tell everybody. Don't tell them where the fat rolls come from. There was just somebody sitting very close to us, so we were too shy to bring the camera out and start talking. We're having a lovely time here in the in the lounge, waiting mm. for our flight to Frankfurt. And when we get to Frankfurt, you probably know by now where we've been. Uh, well, we can actually tell you then. We are going off. Oh, we did tell them in the beginning of the video. Because oh, we made a yeah. Facebook update, that's why I'm confused, where we didn't tell anybody where we were going. We just said we're going to Frankfurt and we'll update along the way. So, yeah, so, so what? 
we're just eating here and relaxing, enjoying ourselves and looking so forward to getting back to Kusamui. We haven't mm. been there in three years. Oh. Because mm. we're returning here with more goodies. Mm. What do we have there? Baileys? Little nice cake, Baileys, okay. cappuccino. Oh, cappuccino. Mm. Somebody's living the dream. The cheap dream. I just said that if you have a little bit more than two hours time, it's worth coming. Yeah, definitely worthwhile. It's not expensive compared to airport prices. No. It's actually a lot cheaper mm -hmm. and you get all the drinks you want and all the snacks you want too. Definitely. So very worthwhile. Mm. I just had a thought. I better show you the view out the windows just in front of us over here. Mm. This used to be a view out onto the apron, but since the airport got expanded, this is now inside the airport when you look outside. Mm. It's not bad after all. It's still nice when mm. you can see what's yeah. going on mm. out there and that kind of thing. There's still activity to look at. Anyway, let's go over and have a look. There you go. Just outside us there's an O'Leary's bar and restaurant, as you can see. I think O'Leary's is seen in many airports around the world, at least in European airports. Good cake, is it? Mm. Maro took the last Baileys, so hopefully I can get some Baileys also. They said they were going to bring some more. No. Oops, somebody's hand wasn't very steady with this Baileys. I poured a little bit too much, oh. as if it was an accident. I was just thinking, good old Rick. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> a nice little slice of cake there, and coffee coming up. I'll look it around so you can see a bit better. Nice looking cake. We just finished lounge off now and now we're heading off to the gate. So join us as we walk along. Out we go and just checking on the screen for our flight. Frankfurt A14. A14. It's mm. the top one on the on the picture. Off we go and that was very nice. I said little hick there from the food. Now we're off to the gate. Just gonna My drawing is done. Follow Maro most of the way. I've asked Maro to do a swift walk so we can follow her smoothly all the way, excuse me, smoothly all the way to gate A14. I made a little burp there, excuse me. <laughs> that was the lounge. That was charming. <laughs> my apologies from the bottom of my heart. But anyway, let's continue following Maro. Maro's got to put the speed on as I follow, so we can see all the activity in and around the airport. She's taking a left turn, good choice. Nice that we can cover both of the, the sides of the bars. It's come very nice. It's come very nice indeed, look at that. Right, Mara, that's a dead end there. It's down to the smoking area. Straight ahead we go. I'll try and say something every now and again to keep this sort of interesting. I think it's very nice. Yeah. A little bit more speed. Viewers are only getting your back. I want your legs in the shot too. <laughs> it's pretty, there's a Colesburg advert up there on the screen. Another pretty manger. manger. As we head out to gate 8, A14. It's a left turn up here ahead. Yes, I was having coffee. Yeah, Mara was just here. She went to a uh, Wedding in Crete a few days back. I have some nice footage from my flight. Which you will be making. And we have the Stefa Holbein sausage section and we're heading out for gate A14, which is straight ahead now. For the for Lufthansa flight 2 is A14. So let's just follow Maro all the way down. Yeah. I was just grabbing a trolley over there. Not quite sure why, because it's not very far down to the gate. It's a lovely evening out there, as you can see. It's very bright. Sunshine weather. Got your trolley? I think A14 is just right down at the end, so put the speed on and let's follow. Oh, she's happy. Down we go. Well, it's all the way along here. Which is very good. And there's the first little aircraft with the green wings, fly green, can I say? It's not the airline's name, it's probably the biofuel or something like that being used. And down we go again, right down to the end, to our gate. 
So a Norwegian aircraft outside there. It's a lovely evening for flying. Hopefully we get some good footage on the takeoff. But the thing is we probably don't have a window today because we're sitting in the emergency seat. Well, that's how it is. But it's been a while since we sat in the emergency row, so it'll be nice to sit and try it again. And we go right down to the end, down towards our plane. There's a plane just right down there on the end as we walk. Some lovely views of the apron out there. Up here on my left, this gate is for a Baltic. Man, I'm still moving along there in front. A good swift pace. 11 to 12 to the left, A14 to A17 to the right. Now the toilet there on my left. A little grill sandwich drinks place just ahead here. Some nice views there from the window. And we're heading straight ahead now to our gate. It's the first gate, gate A14, straight up ahead. You feel the warmth here. You can fly Norwegian outside, Norwegian Airlines. It looks like it's going to be a lot of people on this flight also. And there we have it. Frankfurt Airport, 7 o'clock. Good, yeah. We had enough late flights in the past. And here we have the lounge. Or the gate, sorry. You can check on the boarding pass. Here we go, here's our plane for today. I just took a little detour to the other side of the gate so we could actually see the aircraft we're going to be flying with. It's an Airbus A320-200 and the name of it is Paknang. Or Paknang. We are now by Maru. We're at the gate waiting for boarding to begin. And off we go. Maro's leading the way and time to fly again. Ready to fly, Maro. <laughs> goody, goody. And we have our plane for today. Beautiful sunny weather, one Norwegian aircraft leaving there on the right as we're coming in towards our aircraft. What were our seat numbers? 12 ENF. 12 ENF. And on we go. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. And on we go. Nice leather seats as usual. I'm not a fan of leather seats. And there we have our seats. Leather and a lovely window right on the wing. We have the emergency seats. Are you going to eat your ticket on the flight here? So as Mario just mentioned, the Kit Kat I was about to film to show you. Mario is already packing it away. We have some tremendous arguments sometimes when we film because she doesn't always realize that it's part of the video. So here we are seated in the emergency exit. Lovely leg room here. As we came into the aircraft, we were presented with a Kit Kat each. As Mario said, we could be because they're trying to sweeten us up because there's no catering on board. There's awesome issues with the catering company. Looks like they're going to be having a lovely takeoff view here. It's a little bit interesting thing. Window blind closed from the bottom up. That's it, because it's an emergency exit.
flying with them. Lovely take of us. Lovely, huh? Look at the little houses down there on the island. My apologies for the very short uh, taxiing and up to the takeoff. I got the little microphone sitting here stuck in the netting here in front of me and I actually broke off the little attachment which separates the microphone over here on my shirt so hopefully the microphone still works properly so apologies for that it's going to have an effect on the audio throughout our flights now from here to Thailand and from Thailand back to Copenhagen but let's make do with what we got thumbs up still look up in good spirits had a wonderful takeoff hope you enjoyed that one too and let's just quickly have a look out the window also There's an aircraft flying just above the wing it's a quick look in front of us the cabin legroom seats very good legroom here in the emergency exit we do of course have to read some special instructions on how to open the door quickly it is the responsibility i'm sitting in the seat that's responsible responsible for opening the emergency door which is here just next to me which is the reason i have such lovely leg room really stretch out over here same goes for Maro. let's just have a look at re the rest of the seat there's that net that destroyed my lavalier mic my mobile phone there at the little tray table just a twist and a turn opens and closes and there are drink cups on either side let's have a quick look at the magazines magazines on a nice handy plastic cover also there is Wi-Fi on the flight available at a charge Fly net message, 7 euros, pricey as it normally is I would imagine. Maybe Maro you can take some photos in the meantime of some of these things. Is the safety car, this aircraft. And it is an Airbus A320 we are flying with. Which looks like this. Lastly, and not lastly, have a look at the Lufthansa magazine, the in-flight magazine for Lufthansa, called appropriately Lufthansa magazine. Skim that, not very thick magazine compared to many other airlines. Then again, they don't need such a thick one anymore because nowadays we have in-flight entertainment. So this is not one of the only sources of information or entertainment we have on our shop. Duty-free shop magazine. And there's a huge selection of goods available for sale from that too, as you can see. There we have it, World Shop. And here we have somebody's favorite package, the so-called bath bag, bath bag of angels. Not used once, but two times. Austrian Airlines was the airline we flew with, which Maro had to use it. It wasn't any fault of Austrian Airlines, I must just mention. But anyway, there you have it. Look at the little mess I've had here. I'll pack all these magazines away. And, uh, sorry, it's the little, that's where they came from, here. And uh, Maro's just taking a few photos also for our Facebook and Instagram. So if you haven't already followed us there, please do so. We do post a lot of content there that we don't put on our YouTube channel. Drinks have been served. One sparkling water for me. Barsteiner uh, beer. Maro went for the white wine. Yes. White wine and a sparkling water. 
as you can see, there's not much to see out there. So this is going to be a very short video. Basically, the takeoff landing and the airport scenes. We all finished our drinks, or at least I did. Sal goes down nicely. I must ask the question, what's a trip report without the trusty... Trusty Wilson? You probably can't hear my arrow because the microphone's on my chest. Yes. What's a trip report without the trusty Wilson? It's now 10 minutes to 8. What time are we scheduled to land, Maro? Oh, trusty scan. And Maro's scan. Watch. Danish design. Not sponsored. Just our two timepieces. 10 to 8. 10 to 8, what time we land? Around quarter past 8, I think. Ah, okay. I'm just clearing away the cups now. Time for a quick look out the window again. We have begun our descent, at least it feels like that. Look at the clouds down there. Hello then, welcome to this little tour of the toilet. It's going to be very quickly, just to show you what it looks like. I'm at the front end of the toilet, the business class toilet. We have a little pail, uh, a little Durkin, basin, toilet, maybe changing table just in front of me, some toilet seat covers. Over here we have the door, closing the door here, turns the lights on automatically, and there you can see how much space we have. A little bit of the soap there, two toilet papers, flushing button under, and that concludes this very quick toilet tour. Mara is already sitting here talking about the massage she's going to have for some more tomorrow when we arrive. Well, not when we arrive, the day after we arrive. We get there in the evening tomorrow, so it's not going to be time for much. Now, a quick look up at the ceiling, what's above us. You can see that we have three fans, one for each seat, three reading lights. Now, if we zoom in a little bit more, you can see we have a cabin crew calling button and then the buttons to call the crew with. Oh, sorry, the buttons to turn the lights on with. I just got instructed to film out the window, those shiny things down there. Some houses starting to appear. Landing. Seatbelt sign just went on. Almost time to land. That means about 10 minutes. Yeah. Because you just made the route recently. <laughs> Maro flew this route last week. You've never heard an expert in flight like, like she is right now. Six days ago. There you can see the seatbelt signs on. Engine slowing down a little bit, it sounds like. Banking left. Very hazy out there. Oh, there's Frankfurt down there. Nice bridges. Very low. It's lovely. Very close to the city. Pity it's so hazy. It's a perfect view. Look at that. I mean, right through the city. Yeah, lovely. Feel the landing gear going down. Really nice approach. Uh, exit light sign just went on. The light on the exit. Ah. Ready for our next flight soon. Speeding up a little bit. Almost there now. Short final for sure. Kurt's rent the car over there. And here comes the airport. Tight down to the camera. It's a very fast landing. It's gonna be a hard land. No, oh, it was actually pretty soft. And we're done. Frankfurt again, turning off the runway. 
quickly. Meine Damen und Herren, bitte bleibt zu zur eigenen Sicherheit noch so lange eingeschnallt sitzen, bis die Anschlusszeichen über ihn ausgeschaltet wurden. Das Flugzeug, die endgültige Parkposition erreicht hat, ich von Ihnen verabschieden und bedanken uns, dass Sie heute Abend. Wir wünschen Ihnen noch einen schön verbleibenden Abend hier in Reise. Of course, we have to be here too. The landing couple. Yeah. It will be us. For your own safety opportunities. Thank you. Wir hören schon so noch ganz gut an, Jenny. Thank you and bye bye. Hey. Look at that take off there just above us. That's it. That is an airline I'd like to fly with now. I can't remember the name of it suddenly. It's the fire training aircraft. We have passed that a few times. Aegean Air. Was it Aegean Air? That's a Greek airline, isn't it? Yeah. What is the, that one called that just took off? No, I can't remember. It just went totally blank. Which, from which country? From the Asia. Like the Korean one. That I want to fly with. Anna? No. Oh, Anna. Um, Asiana. Asiana Airlines it was. Well done, Maro. One point for Maro. She guessed it. would love to try that airline. I guessed it. I knew it. <laughs> so that Lufthansa cargo planes over there. That's it. MD-8. Uh, Lufthansa with a new livery. Looks like we're gonna have an apron disembarkation. Those two planes are exactly the same, exactly the same position as six days ago when I passed here. Yeah. I have them on the footage. Yeah. If you haven't already watched Maro's footage, Maro's gonna stitch a little video together. I'll leave a link to it if she's made it already otherwise watch out for it in our trip reports playlist oh look at that uh -huh. that was LL from Israel compare this airport to our final airport Kosamui <laughs> the one little yes. runway one kilometer that's all but the small one we a taxi yeah right down there then we have Ethiopian airlines comes the Lufthansa Take off. There's another Lufthansa there. Got a little bit closer in on him. The landing. Oh, look at that, China Airlines. <laughs> Coming into the gate area now. It looks like it will be a gate. You see the new liveries there. They're black, black tails. I'm not sure whether I like it. I like the old one. The yellow. It's much nicer. What's your favorite? Write down in the comments. Black livery or the old yellow Lufthansa logo. That's Cathay Pacific, another airline I'd like to try. Yeah, China waiting yeah. to depart. Yeah, China Have Boeing 777. No, we thought we did that when we flew China Airlines. And we never regretted China Airlines. If you haven't watched that video, comment down below. Oh, sorry, another comment. And we've linked or pinned it down in the comment section. A link to it. A lovely flight we had. Old livery, new livery. That was A320-200 next to us. Coming up now, we have a bus A350, the Cathay Pacific one I was talking about. Look at that. Lovely aircraft. Lufthansa British Airways. I don't know what that thing is there. Ah, that's that. We saw that in Denmark once. That's that sort of leasing company. The one with the star. I don't remember the name. Do you remember that? There's Serbia. And there's a SAS over there. I think we're going to be dead busters and blockading here. Indeed, we are. What did you say? We're going off with the bus. Ah, oh, I don't know that idea. What is that? The star on the... That was the one we saw. It's like a leasing airline. And here we are. Just like that. And this embarkation has begun. Maro's leading the way. And off we go. 
This was the business class section here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you.